guys, welcome to my channel. And it's your girl Chimelo. And please, guys, do subscribe to my channel if not subscribed. And give it a thumbs up. Yes, guys, today I'm going to be teaching you something unique. Chin chin in a special way. And today, guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to make coconut chin chin. Yeah, that sounds delicious. Yes, 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 yes. And it's unique, if I may say. Because I've tasted it. And it's big difference between the normal chin chin that we all know and this one. Because of that key ingredient, coconut. So guys, I'm going to be introducing you to the ingredients that I'll be using to make this chin chin. And guys, there are a lot of persons out there that does not know how to make chin chin. No more. So, we're going to be teaching you not just how to make chin chin, but a special one, coconut chin chin. So guys, let's move to the kitchen while I introduce you to the ingredient that we'll be needing. So please do subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. Alright guys, let's move to the kitchen. Alright guys, like I said earlier, I'll be introducing you to the ingredients that we need in frying our coconut chin chin. And the master ingredient for this coconut chin chin is the coconuts. Like as you can see here, we have the coconuts already shaded and the brown peel removed. The reason for removing the brown peel is to make it easier for you to blend without stressing your blender and also give the chin chin a very nice color. And here also we have our flour and I'll be working with one kilo of flour. Here I have milk flavor, which will also give it a nice aroma. Here I have baking fats. Then we also have sugar for taste also. We have salt, which I'll be needing a pinch or two of the salt. Here also I have milk, I'll be adding to it. Then here I have preservative. Guys, if you are frying chin chin and you want it to last for you for a very long time, you need your preservative so it don't get soak. Then I have granite oil for frying. Here also I have eggs. Then I have rolling quarter. And guys, I have nutmeg. Without your nutmeg, your chin chin is not complete because it gives it a nice flavor. Then I have baking powder. And of course, our rolling pin. So guys, these are the ingredients we'll be needing to fry our chin chin. Let's move to the work proper. All right, guys. All right, guys. We are about starting to add our dry ingredients. As you can see, and starting off with the milk flavor. Yeah. Then I'm adding nutmeg. As you can see, like I said before, and a pinch of salt. I think this is okay. Our preservative will be okay. Then our baking powder. I'll be adding a little as well. Don't need more. We don't need much, so it don't get overrised. Guys, you'll be wondering why I didn't add my sugar alongside the dry ingredients. The reason for this is that most time when you add the dry sugar alongside the dry ingredients. We find out that later on, after adding the liquid ingredients, after leaving the kneaded dough for some time, you see that the dry sugar starts getting melt and it makes your dough to get sticky. So what I did is to mix my sugar with warm water. So my sugar will be going into a flour with other liquid ingredients. So we'll be adding our fats now. 
Mind you guys, your hands must be clean. I've already washed my hands. Because I'll be needing it. I don't need spoon to do this. I'm not adding too much fat. If you add too much fat to your dough, while frying, it will make your dough or the chin chin. So, be as if it's taking much oil. So, I'm not adding much fat to this. So, I'll mix gently until can't find any particles of fat inside the flour. Okay, so guys, you can see that I'm still on the process and is ready now to add the other liquid ingredient that is needed. Here, this is my egg. You can see. Like I told you, I had to melt my sugar with a warm water. So I don't, don't start giving it a sticky um making it sticky later later on so and my milk so i've added the sugar here's our milk i'm adding it and the last ingredient which is our key ingredient I'm adding the uh, coconut. Yes, guys, that was it. Our last ingredient just went in. And I'll continue to knead until we get the best of our results. So guys, as you can see, we've achieved a very good result from kneading all our ingredients together. Right now, we're going to move over to the cutting segment of this. So I'll be using my rolling pin to spread out before cutting. Yes, guys, our dough is ready. And as you can see, I'm cutting it. So after cutting it into shape, the next thing to do is to start frying. So follow me, guys, while I cut and fry. So guys, our oil is already heating on the fire. And then, um, mind you, before, pouring or adding any one that you have to add or start frying just add one first and see if your if it's all if it's ready for you to add others as you can see you still need it to get hot a little before i'll add others so guys i'll be adding adding the others because the oil is heat now You can see it's not there's no much heat on it you don't need much heat so it don't get brown at once so like i said you keep stirring you keep stirring it so it don't get burnt from one side of it okay so as you can see i'm still stirring like i said you keep stirring it once you should know that if you are stirring always, it will always come out beautiful. It will always come out fine. As you can see, you know how the situation whereby it will be kind of dark, as if it wants to get burnt. You will be monitoring it. And guys, I'm so excited because our coconut chin chin is almost ready. Guys, our chin chin is ready. 
as you can see is golden brown and it's beautiful it's very beautiful and mouth watery hi guys welcome back wow guys I hope you can see the beauty of our coconut chin chin and as you can see as well I accompanied it with a sweet orange juice you know this can be very refreshing as a snacks as um, um whatever it is that you want to present to a visitor this can go a long way and they will so much appreciate it why not try this out and give, leave a comment for me below and also guys please do subscribe to my channels and give it a thumbs up give it a thumbs up and please i am waiting for your comments if once you are done with yours give the testimonials let the people know the uniqueness in coconut ching ching so please do guys subscribe thank you very much